السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ Welcome to this uh, short brief clip on how to maintain good foot hygiene during Hajj and avoid those dreaded blisters which can cause significant pain during your pilgrimage. First thing is before you go you must realize that you're going to be walking distances which is very unusual unusual for some people. Just doing a tawaf in, on the madaf on the ground floor, seven tawafs is approximately half a mile. And moving on to the first floor could be anything from two and a half to three miles, uh, depending on how wide your circumference is around the haram. For your feet, bare feet, this could be a significant trauma. And to minimize this, What you need to try and do before you leave for Hajj is to try and start walking around the streets when the weather is decent and try and walk up to three miles a day if you can. Especially for people who are not used to walking and tend to drive everywhere or have a very sedentary lifestyle at home. Also, if you've got any underlying foot conditions, corns, ulcers, verrucas, Try and see if you can get those treated before you go so that you have no problems while you're uh, performing your pilgrimage. Try and maintain good foot hygiene by moisturize, washing your feet regularly, dry them and then moisturize. Moisturize the whole foot right the way above your ankle, but try to avoid moisturizing in between the toes. If you moisturize in between the toes, it will leave this area wet and moist and that will lead to fungal infections. So moisturize above your foot, on the sole of your foot, the ankle, but try and avoid in between the toes themselves. Moving on to the second thing, when looking at foot hygiene, you need to ensure that you have the right footwear when going to Hajj. Now for many people, there is this tradition that with the ihram, you wear the usual haji slipper, which looks like this. Now you'll see that the sole is quite thin. It's not very flexible. And this, as you can see, is not a brand new slipper. And even though it's used, it is very inflexible. Now trying to walk between Mina and Makkah with this kind of footwear is going to cause significant pain within your feet. Not only that, but this is quite hard plastic, which if it rubs against your forefoot, will lead to abrasion and cuts and cause possible infection to your foot as well. So my advice would be try and avoid these hard haji flippers or Hawaii flippers as some people call them and opt for something that is a bit more comfortable. The other alternatives are these kind of more sports flippers. Now all this is, although this is more flexible, you can see the difference how flexible this is compared to the haji flipper. It doesn't have much cushion and as you see the top strap, although it's not plastic, is made of material, is very likely to get loose and possibly even rip. One of the things you don't want to happen when you've got long distances to walk is for the strap to rip and find that you're struggling to hold onto the slipper. Trying to use your foot muscle to hold onto this slipper will cause significant pains in the soles. Now, one of the things that the doctors during previous delegations have used, and to clarify, we don't, we, there's no sponsorship involved in this, this is purely based on our experience, is that many of the doctors have used Crocs as an alternative to the Haji slipper purely for comfort and ease. Now I've got a couple of examples here. One of the uh, slippers that you can use is this Crocs here. Now it's called I uh, Iconic Crocs Comfort and you'll see that this, although it's plastic, is soft plastic which allows uh, the plastic to mold to your feet and you can see how much cushion there is at the back. Now these are very good 
especially when you've done wazoo in mina and you've got to put a wet foot back into a slipper because of the plastic nature of this they tend to dry very quickly uh, and not soak the water in also you can see how uh, flexible they are and this is a brand new pair uh, which hasn't been used yet which I must start using soon because I need to break these in before I take them for hajj. So this tends to be one pair that I take out with me but the other pair which is a lot more comfortable is this light ride, light ride croc. Now you can see how this is even more flexible compared to the previous uh, example and you can see how thick the sole is on this one. So this has a lot more cushion and weight for weight is much lighter than this croc. Now generally I'll take these two crocs with me. This is very good for the long distances that I'll be walking to um, from Mina to Muzdalifa, Arafat, Mecca. So these are very good for uh, long distances because of the cushioning. But these are good if I'm going from the hotel to Haram after doing wuzu, where I can still keep the uh, crocs with me. Now, a word of uh, advice, whatever you do when you're taking your slippers, make sure you've got a slipper bag and keep the slippers as close to you as possible. On occasions, I've gone to Haram to pray Salah, left my slippers in a box. When I come back, they've disappeared. And I've had to walk back, walk back to the hotel barefoot or find the nearest shop that sells slippers where I can purchase a cheap pair of Haji slippers until I get back to the hotel. So try and keep these close to you. But here's two examples. Now there are further examples. This is an extreme and I wouldn't suggest you go for one of these. But if you want real cushion, look at the size of these platform crocs. And these are a proper pair of comfortable crocs. And for some of you, you might decide to uh, get a pair of these, but uh, these are the ultimate Rolls Royce in comfort. There are other companies that provide um, suitable slippers like this, but as I say, from past experience, we found a number of the doctors in our delegation tend to use these because cost for cost, they're relatively cheap and they're very comfortable and they're very durable as well. Now, when you're not in Ihram, make sure that you take a decent pair of trainer like this where you've got cushion at the back because walking some of the distances you may be walking three four five miles and when you're not in ihram you can wear these for comfort to make sure that you don't end up with uh, blisters and foot pain moving on to blisters the way to avoid blisters is to ensure you maintain good foot hygiene as mentioned wash your feet moisturize your feet but also, when wearing socks, be aware of the type of sock you're wearing. Now, nylon socks tend to prevent absorption of sweat, which creates a humid environment around your foot. A humid environment will lead to fungal infections uh, like athlete's foot, but will also soften the skin, leading to breakdown of the skin and possible blisters. Better than a nylon socks is a cotton socks. But cotton also doesn't fully absorb the moisture, although it is better in absorbing some moisture compared to nylon. For those of you who are willing to splash out a bit of money, the ultimate is to get socks which are made out of merino wool. Now merino wool will keep your feet warm when it's cold outside, but cool when it's warm outside. And merino wool is very good at absorbing the sweat and dissipating it, spreading it away from your foot to ensure that your foot stays nice and dry. For those of you that are unlucky to develop a blister, one of the things to try and avoid is don't try and cut it open yourself to let the fluid out. There's a risk that you may end up introducing infection into the wound itself. If you can find the British Hajj delegation, and the number will be on our website, then give us a ring. Every year, especially in Mina, we have many, many uh, hujaj who will come to us and have blisters treated. We very occasionally do cut blisters open where they're very large and painful, but we do it under a hygienic sterile technique. And we do carry various uh, bandages and products to ensure that the wound does not get infected. One of the things that you may wish to take out with you in your first aid box 
is Compede, which is a product that we've carried year on year, which is very good for treatment of blisters. It does come in various shapes and sizes, and there are some that you can use on the heel, whereas others are more designed to go around the toe itself. You might be, it might be advisable to get a Compede pack, which has a variety of shapes and sizes. And if you are not clear on how to use Compede, then by all means, contact us, bring your pack, and we will, inshallah, use your uh, Compede to treat your blisters. So there is a brief um, insight into how to maintain foot hygiene. Wash your feet, dry your feet, moisturize your feet, avoid in between the toes on a regular basis. Use socks. Merino wool is the best version if you can get it. It's worth paying that bit extra considering how much you've paid for the uh, trip itself. And what you don't want to do is end up spending half the trip in pain because you've developed blisters due to a sweaty environment within your shoe. Where you can, avoid the haji slipper, avoid the sports slipper, but aim for one of the Crocs and try them out at your local Croc store and see which one suits you. Inshallah, have a good, healthy Hajj and let's hope that you don't develop any foot ailments. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.